I believed that I couldn't be fat and human. You didn't, you didn't think you could be fat and human. What were you going to be? What are you going to be? What are you going to be? I didn't think I could be fat and human. Well, that's fucking weird. Seeing a therapist for internalized fat phobia. Here we go. Bitch, please. What's in the box? Bitch, please, says Cerny. Bitch, please. All right. So I've been in therapy for many years, but recently I started seeing a therapist specifically to work through. Oh my God, your voice. And what's with the music? Come on. If you're going to, this might be, a, this might be really hard to listen to. We'll see how it goes. Cause I hate it when you don't adjust the audio in the background, you dumbass. And her voice is so piercing, so it's just, it's just noise pollution. My internalized fat phobia and shame, and I'm coming to realize that I have so go. much freaking anger. No I have so much anger from years and years and years of suppression, from years and years of forcing myself to be the most pleasant, the smallest, the least uh, intrusive, the uh, kindest, the funniest, the um, tissues. most high achieving. Get the tissues. To be giving, to be a perfectionist. Because I believed that I couldn't be fat and human. You didn't, you didn't think you could be fat and human? What were you going to be? What are you going to be? What are you going to be? I didn't think I could be fat and human. Well, that's fucking weird. I don't know what else you would be. If I was going to be fat and wanted to be loved and accepted, I needed to be superhuman. So I have denied myself my mm. fundamental humanity. You are superhuman. And superhuman means you are more than human. You are much more than the average human. You have a lot of human on you. You would be, dare I say, superhuman, hyperhuman. You're very human. Very very human. In service of receiving love from the people who are supposed to love me unconditionally. And I'm angry. I am I'm angry, angry too. I'm at angry at my internalized fat phobia. Uh, and the ways that it has prevented me oh. from being able to connect to the fullness of myself. What are you talking about? Because I haven't about? been able to connect to the fullness. Think of this circular, like, what are you talking about? I haven't, my fat phobia was, wasn't allowing me to connect to the fullness of myself. Yo, life is not that complicated. It's not all that. What do you, people are trying to make it seem like they're overcoming some amazing obstacle, right? They're trying to act like they're overcoming some you are not figuring anything out. You are just lying to yourself now. Now you realize you created some kind of circular logic where you can actually be fat and try to ignore it. You just literally are lying to yourself. You think you've, you've finally lied to yourself enough that you think it's real. All right. Of myself, I haven't been able to connect with many other people and I felt really lonely because of that. Ah, so you like, wanted love and attention. So now that you're joining this body positivity, fat acceptance movement, this is called the thoughtful therapist. This is a therapist. This individual is a therapist. That's fucking frightening. Okay. Again, I always say it's all about love and attention, all about love and attention. If you're alone, you're not getting love and attention. Desperate for love and attention. Myself. How does she not have a septum piercing? I am very impressed. I haven't been able to connect with many other people. No and I felt really lonely because. All right. No shit. No shit. No shit. You want to know why you haven't been able to connect? Who the fuck wants to hang out with you? Who wants to spend time with you? You tell me. Does this look like a good time to anyone? Yeah, that's why. That. My perfectionism and my pleasantness and all of the other things I listed are defense mechanisms. They keep people at arm's length. Thank God. Because I've operated out of the assumption that if you knew me fully, you wouldn't like me. You wouldn't. Well, there we have it. Said the quiet part out loud there. All righty. Attacks on me, quite frankly, are attacks on we science. We choose truth over facts. All right, nailed it. Love me. But the irony is that in doing so, I haven't given people in my life the opportunity to prove me wrong. Stepping out from behind your defenses is really scary. <laughs> but what scary. we deem our shadow selves deserve to see sunlight. 
as I've begun to work on dropping these social defenses, Your shadow I've been self? so deeply moved by the ways that the people in my life show up for me fully and the ways that they make every part of myself feel loved. Oh. I would have never known this had I not taken that chance. What are you talking about? I'm angry because my internalized fat phobia kept me in hiding. What are you talking it about? It made me believe that I didn't deserve my anger. Or so in other words, she created her own disease and unhealthy lifestyle. And then, I don't know, like she's doing this all inside her head. Like nothing had to be done. You were just, now you're just comfortable lying to yourself. Before you were fighting. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're almost done with this. But here's the thing. The human brain, it's very hard to lie to yourself. Understand? It's very hard to lie to yourself. So you have to justify your new reality. So what she really means is she's been fighting this tug of war between the bullshit that she wanted to believe or the nonsense victimhood that she was portraying to the world, which is why she was alone. Um, and the realization that she's full of shit. Now she's just completely full of shit and she's lost that bearing on reality. So now she just believes it wholeheartedly and she thinks she discovered something. My sadness or my no. discontentment. But now I claim those qualities as mine. Repeat after me. I deserve the fullness of my experience. I deserve the fullness of my human experience. I deserve the fullness of my human experience. Yo, what are you talking about, chick? Just go to the fucking gym. Go to the fucking gym. Now, tell me you don't go to the fucking gym without telling me you don't go to the fucking gym. Go to the fucking gym. Some toxic muscularity. Yeah, welcome. Go to the fucking gym. Tell me you need to lift some fucking weights. Holy shit. My God. You need to lift some fucking weights and get railed. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Will a mo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, not my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real mo. I said, stay woke, real mo. Stay woke, real mo. I said, stay woke, real mo. Stay woke, real mo. I said, stay woke, real mo. Stay woke, real mo. I said, stay woke, real mo. Stay woke. Hey, y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk, but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me, I hope you know We stand up and watch our enemy go Empire fall, my legacy grows I might just hop on this melody flow All this vision, no 